Today, we're gonna make and try our own ghost pepper pineapple tincture. Now, if you don't know what that is, I don't either. All my videos on my channel lately have been experiments, trying my own stuff. This one is definitely an experiment. Let's give it a go. All right, so up first, we gotta get a powder going. These are my own homegrown ghost peppers. They are all whole or cut up into halves. We need to grind them down into a powder and get them bottled here. So, so clearly that's not working for me. Uh, we're just gonna put them in a hole. Peppers in there, we're gonna mash them down and add some 151 Everclear. First, we're gonna add in some pineapple to make our ghost apple tincture. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I need to let it sit for 14 days after I add this. Hopefully at the end of this, we'll have a nice hot additive to add to foods or to just drink. So let's add this and let it sit. All right, two weeks on the clock now. We're on about day four now. I decided let's add some Carolina Reaper pods. Day 14, look at that. It has been 18 days of soaking for these ghost peppers, Carolina Reapers, and pineapple. It's time to start the filtering process. We're gonna filter it into this cup because I don't have a funnel, and then we're gonna let it evaporate out of little Tupperware. Again, all an experiment, don't follow any of this. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, Work with what you got. Oh, you can smell that wonderful spice. Very slow process. That smells delicious. Our filtered product ready to go into here. Oh, I just about dropped that whole bottle. Oh, that would have been a fiery disaster. All right, I only have two clamps and I want this to go fast, so we're gonna kinda just uh, hope for the best here. Hoping for the best. Last of the liquid is in the filters and it almost just feels like it's giving off a heat. All right, the last of our filtered tincture here. From this to this.
ghost app leaper is what I'm calling it. Ghost peppers from my garden, pineapple from a can, Carolina Reaper. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared of this. Not only because one, I made it, but two, the amount of reapers and ghost peppers that went into this. Let's taste how terrible my concoction turned out. Again, I, I'm not lying, I'm a little scared, so we're gonna try, we're gonna try the, uh, just a little toothpick of it. I'm assuming a little bit of this goes a long, a long, a long ways. Oh, Woo. that's just a dab on a toothpick and it just killer burn right away. And that, you couldn't even, I mean, that's just minuscule. Okay, I kind of dig that. Just a couple dabs here and there. Just my lips lit up on fire right then and there. Just a little bit of a toothpick. Just a little bit of a toothpick in my lips. Now my tongue's on fire. Oh, I <laughs> shouldn't have done the second toothpick. Woo! And, but it's, a, it's that nice clean burn. Nice clean burn. This is gonna last me a lifetime. All right, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. This turned out really good. This was the Ghost Apple Eber. The first tincture I've ever attempted. I, I think it turned out amazing. Just a nice burn. I mean, it's not killing me, but again, I only used a little toothpick. But it's that my whole mouth is on fire. My whole mouth is on fire. I think I finally found something I can do with all my leftover peppers at the end of the year uh, from the garden. But uh, I'm gonna have to give some away because this right here will last me forever. That's a lot. And you gotta, you know, I just used a little toothpick and it lit my mouth up. Um, imagine, you know, three, four drops in a pot of chili. You're gonna, you're gonna have some sweet heat. Obviously, I don't taste any of the pineapple I put in because, let's be honest, one can of pineapple versus how many reapers and uh, ghost peppers is probably drowned out quite a bit. But hey, thanks for watching. Again, honestly, don't do anything I do at home because none of it makes sense. It's all an experiment. But I had a lot, I had a blast doing this, and you guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out and watching. Have a great day.